Welcome to City Skylines, my name is Ben and I'm an urban geographer. Today just a one part stream because I am in the middle of phase one, city planning and city building and that being the Monaco city centre, the primary city centre of the two city centres. Now as I alluded to on Twitter and briefly on LinkedIn, to do this kind of city building stuff actually takes a lot of time, more time than most people would think. To bring your most basic infrastructure through, your roading, your transit, power, and water, will take about, if you break it down into a week, will take about three days to do. Then to bring through your civic infrastructure will take through another day. And then setting down your routes, your transit routes, and that, and then the micro detail, it could take another one to two days on top of that. Again, so basically it could take a full seven days to bring through a large phase one city building city planning uh, phase through for that, especially if it's this, uh, the city centre, the large, which is of, often the largest portion of play you'll usually do in the game. As you can see, going back to district control, as you can see the city centre and the downtown, the reason why you have the downtown there is this is this general commercial, this allows for the leisure and uh, tourism to come through. So as you can see, it's the stations, hotel, convention or expo centre, casino, sky tower, the Grand Mall, and actually I've probably set this wrong, so let me just go back over. So you build your focal points at the same time and then you start working back from there. Oh, well, technically that is nightlife I'm looking for. In this case the tourism, the tourism will be built um, next door. No, actually no, this will be sorry, tourism. And you'll probably find I will probably plop the leisure probably going to find, I'm going to actually just put a very small ring of it nearby and usually that will get called uptown so that will probably actually technically go probably in here but yes just like a river it takes time to bring these through again the urban con island concept still being used you can see the roadways and the railways that and and that will slowly come through with new content pack also available this will be highly used in this area as well for the very first time and then once the city centre gets underway we'll just move through with the expansion and the eventually the consolidation as I move on to coming back down here and continue working on the industry and such. So how do we go about a massive phase one city planning city building? Well, a lot of this can be done on paper, especially if it's expanding on from an area already nearby using the map viewer, which is a separate application, or a lot of it is done in the is literally virtualized in your head, or visualized in your head. But the mechanics of the city centre are straightforward. Expressway coming in from the main highway, and a new expressway also connecting to the other highway there. As we continue further, I think it's north in this case, this major interchange will come round the outside and connect up with the other expressway. One thing I very 
of which I do as standard operations is I don't usually put motorways right through the guts of a city centre. They will always run around. A bit different here. Technically, there's no motorway through the middle of the city centre, but it is dividing the city centre and down town over here. But that's because the motorway was there. The intercity motorway was there first. Rather than me building it to go through an existing area. So you've got the roadway, the motorways set, plus whatever's coming down from Watson Heights. The busway, Leighton busway, continues along. It will be connected up once the city uh, takes off again. But as you can see, the busway serves along. That will become a bit, this will become a pedestrian boulevard. Serves the bus centre here, rail station there, metro centre there. And there's also light rail, or actually technically trams nearby because that's the metro system because there's two classes of light rail in this game. We have the trams and we have the metro rail. So your two classes of light rail, very different purposes. Then of course is your heavy rail. And if you want to do a good old Simpsons meme, there's your monorail, which I do from time to time. But as we zoom in, we'll come out of that. Zoom in, there's the university. You can start to see the mechanics being laid out. Now I haven't done the mathematics or the intersections yet, so some of these traffic signals you see here will disappear. But the fundamentals... I use for the city centre urban islander pretty similar whether light rail is used or not. Bus lanes to bring your buses up quickly that will travel through it where there's light rail in play. There's your light rail. Of course we try and get as much separated cycling as possible. If we are unable to we just scoot over towards the depot. If we're unable to do this although we try and do this as much as possible one way tram to form the loop might as well get your first glimpse of the entertainment quarter it's of course serviced by subway and light rail uh, trams you've got your cycling infrastructure there tram depot we'll just come back up again and of course our shared spaces And our pedestrian malls. So you can see it all slowly coming out. Now as we just... Oops, wrong way. I'll zoom out to see what this show's like from the city centre perspective. And then from the Leighton city centre perspective. Then I'll leave this as a nice tantalising preview as I continue working through this for the rest of the week. And we'll have it up shown on Monday. So we'll just come over to the downtown... Leighton downtown and this is what this is what it looks like from the Leighton downtown you can see the first of the city area the Leighton city centre Brownville and Watson Heights the industry Parnell and the Franklin district and you can see the city centre beginning to evolve from here. We'll leave this where it is today, but yep, just to show that we do have the city centre now finally underway. And the amount of time that it does take to bring such a huge area through does, t does take a serious amount of time, but once it gets going, the rewards are usually worth it. So when we're back next week, the city centre will be online. We'll be continuing expansion and consolidation as we do some much needed, well not, mu not much needed actually, that's the wrong word, as we do some tweaks to usually the transit system and some of the road, road layouts to reflect that that wasn't picked up in the initial uh, planning stage. So that will happen during the consolidation stage, just making sure we get it right as the city function w functions well. So, until next week, 
city build safe.